Oh man, Gunslinger number 24, what an awesome issue. Uh, let's talk about this using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Uh, if you've been following along on my channel, then you know I'm a big Spawn fan and Gunslinger is just like, for me, risen right to the damn top. Love this comic. I've loved every issue of this. I don't think any issue has gotten less than like an eight or a nine out of 10. No exception with this one. Storyline, I'm giving it a two out of two. Remember when I'm rating these using my system, I'm rating them amongst themselves and their and their peers. I'm not rating this against a Superman comic. Uh, Superman is my favorite character. Uh, I'm not rating this against Watchmen or something. When you buy a Spawn comic uh, from Image, from Todd, um, you're paying a lot less, that's for sure, but you, you have expectations of this comic. You're expecting great art, big, you know, bold like fights and things like that. How well does this meet your expectations? That's the way we rate these things. So um, if I give this an 8 or 9 or 10 out of 10, I'm not saying this is better than, you know, The Dark Knight Returns or something insane like that, right? Um, yeah, 2 out of 2 for the story. And I'll tell you why. Learned a little bit more about Taylor, who I'm really liking a lot, actually. I think he's a great character. There's like angelic roots there. You got to see some of the pain that he's been suffering uh, as, a, as, a, as a child. Um, he was hiding it from his parents, too. His dad has... Uh, has angel blood or, or, or heavenly uh, blood in him. Um, Gunslinger is talking to, to the shaman and saying, you know, can we help this kid, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, we've got this other kind of story here with this lady called Sharon. She has a child um, who is in need, desperate need of, of help. There's this, you know, bastard guy here who's treating her like crap and uh, trying to get her, her boyfriend to join, uh, to join up with them. And he's prob and he's one of the guys that Gunslinger's after, uh, not the boyfriend, but the guy trying to force her. So Gunslinger comes in here and just grabs him and cuts off two fingers. Is like, okay, here's what you're gonna tell me to do. Uh, now the guy gave a, a locket to the girl as a as a payment. So we're gonna get to that. Um, and I'm not I'm not actually not gonna show you the last page because it's it's a bit sad. Um, this this issue like this doesn't this issue doesn't really have a lot of fighting to be honest. Normally that would knock it. Now I'm gonna give the pacing a two out of two. Normally I would knock the pacing for lack of action, but I actually really got invested in this, and it's a very short story. It's they're not. I mean these are not in depth long comics with heavy dialogue, um, but I felt really bad here with this uh, this uh, child at the end here, and I don't want to show it to you because it is a very sad image. And it's done very well and very, uh, it, it is very sad. But um, Gunslinger leaves some money for her and all that, so it's great. Uh, good emotion, you don't you don't expect that. So this is why I'm actually, you don't expect that all the time, but you got it in this one, so I'm gonna give a bonus for that, whereas other times I might knock it, saying, well, you, you skimped on your action. But uh, I'm still giving it a two out of two for pacing and story. Artistry, two out of two. I love the art in this comic. Uh, always have, always will. It just really reminds me of like the 90s style. And um, I love the 90s style. And you guys know if you, you know, you see my Legion of Superhero uh, streams and you're seeing my uh, my fourth world Jack Kirby, who's the king, uh, we, 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 we see that. So I can appreciate different art in different time periods for what they meant at the time. The 90s art to me was really exciting. It, it, it mixed a lot of manga influences, um, you know, big splash pages, big, you know, larger than life characters and like huge, you know, really big moments. And, and I know some people think, oh, it's exaggerated and it's silly, but um, that's part of kind of the charm of it, right? You know, and that's where I love these, you know, like Mark Silvestri, Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, they, all of the Image Boys, Jim Lee, um, they brought some of that really crazy stuff. People always say, oh, well, Rob Liefeld, he had smaller feet or whatever, which that doesn't really happen anymore because he's adjusted his style. But it's a thing. It's like kind of a manga thing where he's got like, ah, like guys are like screaming out and there's like, you know, there's like eight more teeth than there should be. But that, it's just part of the style. And now this doesn't have that. This has a more realistic style to it, but still maintains a lot of the aesthetics kind of, of those 90s comics, which I love. Characters 2 out of 2, I love Gunslinger. Um, I think he's great, great character. One of the best new characters we've had in a long, long time. Probably since the original Al Simmons spawn. Um, I think he's fantastic. And Taylor, 
great character. He's awesome. Even the Sharon lady, I really felt for her. It, it, she's, you know, she's just been in, she's only in a few pages, but <clears throat> came across as a great character. Very interesting. Enjoyment factor, of course, two out of two. I love this comic. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. That might seem insane. Um, how is Gunslinger 24 a 10 out of 10? Well, it is by the way I rate the comics and I'm rating it differently. You know, obviously V for Vendetta or Dark Knight Returns or Watchmen or Giant Size X-Men. Those are all 10 out of 10, but are they, they're 10 out of 10, but they're a different 10 out of 10 than this is a 10 out of 10. So um, whenever I give something 10 out of 10, I got to justify it. Obviously, I can't just go around and say, well, it's 10 out of 10. So that is the way I justify it. I'm rating this against itself and its other peers. Like this is the best Spawn comic for me right now. Next best would be Spawn. I also like Scorched a lot, and I still even like King Spawn. But again, Gunslinger for me just really does it. It works. Um, if you like my review method, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And sometimes I get lost. Uh, I can't, where are you? Um, but it does help me out. So I appreciate that. And I do have a Patreon uh, 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 page as well. That's in the link uh, links below. That is it for Gunslinger24. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time.